In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you all a complete print-on-demand tutorial. Now, this video is going to cover everything that I personally do, and it's literally gonna be taking you from the idea you have for starting a shop all the way to getting your first sale. It is also gonna be covering every other little thing in between along the way. Now, throughout the video here, I'm gonna be simply just talking and explaining on camera, and then I'm also gonna be taking you right into my computer right here and explaining there as well so that you all can see it firsthand and follow along for yourself. I also just wanna make a quick note here that this will be a bit of a longer video as there is a lot of information for me to cover, so it's gonna be at a quicker pace. However, timestamps are gonna be placed in the description box down below for you, or there there is a little setting if you click right up here on the gear icon and playback speed, you can make this a little slower or faster depending on your preference. Now this is basically an entire course and I am giving it away for free. So if you find it helpful, I would surely appreciate you hitting the like button down below and let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, first things first here is the question of what is print on demand? Some of you may already know what it is, but for those of you out there who do not, in the simplest terms, print on demand means that your product is only made after someone buys it. It also means that you do not have to purchase inventory of products, you do not have to print products, and you do not have to ship the products. Print on demand business operations are largely taken care of by a third party company of your choice and you keep the profit. So as you can see, this is a really terrific business model that a lot of people like to opt in for, especially people who do not want to go through the hassle of purchasing a ton of inventory and who don't have the funds up front. Now, here are some predictions for the upcoming market of print on demand. So the print on demand industry is projected to grow again in 2026, especially with the AI generated designs and faster global fulfillment. Specifically though, the print on demand market is projected to reach a value of approximately $11 billion by 2026, which means that now has never been a better time to actually get in there and get started. So essentially what the print on demand business model is, is that you create a product design either on your own or with the help of some amazing AI tools that I'm going to be going over today. You upload those designs on any variety of products that are offered with varied print on demand sites. Once an order comes in, that print on demand site handles everything. So they do the printing, the shipping, everything. Let's go ahead and keep it moving into a pretty fun part, and that is actually picking a product or niche. Now, this first step is arguably one of the most important parts of this entire thing, and the product choice is gonna be a personal decision. A quick note here is to avoid copyrighted materials, and I do have a list of those for you in the description box below, free to download that you can take, and make sure you keep that in the back of your mind. Now, when it comes to actually picking a product or a niche, you can watch video after video after video convincing you of why this product is wonderful, this product is not wonderful. But the truth is that you have to be the one to choose your own product based on many factors, you know, your personality, the market you're entering, and what designs you plan to work with. I like to do it the simplest way possible, and that is identifying yourself as a person and what your interests or hobbies are. What is something that you personally have some knowledge in or would enjoy creating? This is gonna really assist you in understanding what niche your products could fit into. With that being said, let's go ahead and just take a look at some of the products currently available moving into the 2020. 26 print on demand year. Now again, multiple different sites to choose from. This is just one, but there are so many amazing products available now. Of course, in the beginning, it used to just be things, you know, like t-shirts, hats, and mugs. Not anymore. This has expanded into a huge range of products. You've got things like towels, blankets, pillows and covers, rugs and mats, food, health and beauty, face masks, sports and games, stationary accessories, car accessories, kitchen accessories. If you click into this, for example, under like food, health and beauty, you can see right here, coffee, 
you know, vitamins. They have got such a huge variety of amazing products that you can choose from. So again, that's going to depend on you. What do you want to sell? Now, a quick note here is if you want to start with market trend research. So what is trending right now? There are great research tools out there. A few great tools out there right now. Everbee Research, if you're using the Etsy seller platform, Merch Informer for Amazon sellers or SEM Rush is overall good for SEO, which is to help optimize with search results. So it kind of helps you understand what are people searching for. This next part you're gonna definitely enjoy, and that is actually coming up with the designs for your products. Now, this part will entirely depend on which products you're choosing to go with. So for example, if you're choosing, let's say, ornaments, your product design will most likely be totally different than if you choose, let's say, t-shirts. So for t-shirts, you might want funny, quirky quotes, but for an ornament, you may want something such as this. You know, it's kind of holiday, traditional type of feel. This is why in this section, I'm not really going to be focusing in on one specific avenue of finding designs. Instead, I'm going to be going over how to find the proper measurements for whichever product you choose and how to create amazing designs even if you're not a designer, which is most of us out here. Now, of course, moving into 2026, there are many amazing tools out there for creating great designs, especially with all of the AI out now. For the example of this video, I'm gonna be using the AI tool called Kittle. Now, I personally use Kittle for some of my own print-on-demand designs because it combines the world's best AI models all in one place. So this means that you can generate stunning mock-ups, images, concept visuals, all in seconds. They do offer some of the latest and most up-to-date AI models here, such as Nano Banana, which help with getting hyper consistent design generation. Now I'm going to go ahead and select a product for example, so that I can show you all in this video and kind of showcase, you know, how to go through this step. For the example of this video, I'm just going to be selecting, let's say car magnets here. These are often used for business advertisements. Obviously they are just one avenue, but you could honestly open an entire car accessory type of store and offer multiple products. So for First things first is you're going to want to know the design measurements for the product you are designing for. And that can always be found on the product info page of whichever product that you are choosing to use. So for example, right here is the product information for the car magnets. You have got three different sizes available in five by five, all the way up to 7.5 by 4.5. So we know that when we go to our design tool, that is the size that we're designing for. Now, once into Kittle, you can see they have have a ton of great options for creating designs. The option here to simply choose a template which are pre-designed is a great option and can save a ton of time, especially for a product like this one. And if you think about it, oftentimes a small business may come to a store like this and really be wanting to send their own brand logo so that you can create and customize it specifically to what they already have. So what you create here could potentially just be an example for your shop. With that being said, the templates are a great option, but there's also the option here to create your own design. So if you come right here to the new project tab, once you select that, you're going to see that you have the option right here on the right to input a custom size. We already have that custom size because we got it just previously. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the unit here to inch. I would suggest a really good DPI of 120. And this stands for dots per inch. And it's basically the resolution. The orientation is horizontal for this. And then I'm inputting that five by five right here. And that's going to look like this right here. It's just one of the sizes available. And I'm just doing it for an example. And now I'm just going to select create. And now I'm ready to start designing how I see fit, but I'm just going to go over a few options that are available in this tool, the templates again, right here. So now that you have your size, you can just go in and choose one. You also have the option to simply add text. You have the option here for illustrations, so many different graphic options. You can upload an image or have the AI here create an image for you. And there are a ton of different textures, 
backgrounds. And then you also have an option to add a smart board here and continuously make different designs for different products. If you were to add those different products in your shop or kind of customize a design simply by providing a prompt to the AI and having it create it for you. And now it's time to just save this design. When saving the design, you're gonna go right up here to the right. I would suggest naming the project so that it's easy to locate in your computer when it's time to upload on your print on demand platform. Then select export and download. And now you have your design. Now, Quickly, before we move forward, if you want to get signed up with Kittle, they are offering access to their most popular AI models for completely free for everyone until the 10 million free generations run out. Now, this means that everyone with an existing plan or a new plan will have access for free to use the amazing new AI features they have to offer. And just a quick note that this is a special and limited time offer. So this is the best time to try and play with AI if you haven't already. I do have a direct link in my description box down below and also a great coupon code. I'm gonna have it here on screen. That's gonna get you an additional 25% off if you decide to purchase any plan. Okay, this section of the video is where you need to choose the platform you will sell on. This can be Amazon, this can be Etsy, this can be TikTok shop, this can even be your own Shopify storefront. Again, this is going to depend on many factors such as your goals for selling, which one you find easiest to handle, and which one has the biggest gap for selling the exact product you're looking to sell. With most of these seller platforms, you can go directly into the print on demand sites and see that they can be connected very easily. So it is totally up to you on which ones you decide to sell on. Also note that you can sell on on all of them if you wish. No matter which platform you choose to sell on, you're gonna typically need to just go directly into that platform, sign up with a seller account. I personally sell on Etsy because I found that is what I prefer with the gap for the product that I wanted to sell. After trying Etsy multiple times with multiple different products, I would say it is now the easiest for me. However, in the beginning, it took some adjusting and I think this is probably going to be for any platform. There are so many videos here on YouTube that's gonna walk you through whichever platform you do choose. Now, once you've signed up, you will easily connect that seller account in the print on demand platform of your choosing. So for example, if you chose Etsy seller platform and you wanna use Gelato to make and ship your products, products that you chose, you will sign into your Gelato account, go to the stores tab, find the Etsy option, and just simply connect that store. This is the same across the board. If you want to use Amazon Merch On Demand, that is what you will select. If you want multiple, just connect multiple. Okay, moving right along into the next step, and that is placing your designs onto your products. This step is relatively simple depending on the design and the product. And the way that this goes is as follow. Once you're into the platform that you've signed up with, so for example here, Printify, you will simply select add product to store, select your product, and then you can upload your design. So let me go ahead and show you. Right here where it says upload your design, simply upload from your computer and then you can size it to the product. Or if you followed what I said in the beginning and got the sizing before you ever even started designing, then this becomes extremely simple to do. Take my word for it. After your design is on your product, I like to come right here to the review tab where you can actually see the product in real time. So they actually put it in a mock-up I'm super happy with it, so then it's just time to move on. When you're satisfied with your design, it's gonna be time to upload it into your shop. Nowadays, this is so simple because we have the help of AI directly built into these print-on-demand platforms. Go ahead and select Save Product select your mock-up. So just click on each mock-up that you want, which is the product listing that will show in your online store. So whenever a customer is searching for whatever it is you're selling, they click into your listing. Those are the photos the customer will see. And then if you're new to this, which most of you out there are, you can have the AI generate both a product title and description for you based on the product. Years ago, this was so tedious and took forever to actually get through. Nowadays, super simple. After that, all you have to do is upload it into your shop. And as you can see, after you do that, it is directly in whichever shop that you have it connected to. All right, now that you have all of your stuff 
up and running, you should be good to go with running your print on demand. And as you can see, it is relatively simple, but just like anything else, it does take time. Now in this last section, I wanna discuss extra tidbits of information that you may find helpful in running a successful print on demand business. Something really simple, but first things first, is gonna be making sure you're downloading the apps that you are running with. So for example, if you've decided to go with Etsy, make sure you download that Etsy seller app. If you've decided to use Gelato or Printify, make sure you're downloading those apps so that you can have greater access. Also, turn on notifications within the apps. This is gonna be sending you that alert when an order comes through and you're gonna wanna make sure that you're looking out for those. You're gonna wanna make sure that you are super quick in submitting those orders. Another helpful note is update your shipping times within your shop immediately. So with Gelato, printing is local and that means that it is faster shipping. However, with Printify, a lot of the printing is not local. So printing and shipping can sometimes take, you know, like a week. Whichever you choose is fine, but just be sure to have that updated in your shop so that the buyer knows what to expect. Whichever platform you choose, just do a quick Google search. That's gonna be your best friend for it. It should pop up and tell you really simply how to find those settings in each shop that you choose. And then very lastly, moving on into marketing. Most people begin their shop, set it and forget it. And I'm also guilty of this in the very beginning because I didn't know otherwise. With this business model, you're going to need to do a little bit of marketing or you can even take that a step further and run some low cost paid ads. Now you can keep those options in mind to boost your visibility. You don't have to do that, but it is an option out there. Make sure that you're taking into account marketing. You will also wanna make sure that you're adding a credit card on file to whichever print on demand platform that you choose to use. This is because when an order is placed in your shop, the buyer pays the platform, also known as, you know, Ed see Amazon. This money goes directly to you, not the print on demand site. So the order gets transferred to the print on demand site, but not the money. So once you approve the order, which you will need to do, the print on demand site will charge you for the product it is about to print and ship. Again, you will get paid with profits from the seller platform. This is how it works for Etsy. Check with the seller platform that you're choosing. All right, that wraps up my beginner's guide to print on demand in 2026. If you find after watching this, you have any questions, that is what the comment section in these videos are for. Drop a comment. I'm gonna try my best to get some responses out to you all and answer your question. Again, if you wanna try Kittle, don't forget there is a direct link in the description box down below. And right now you're gonna get access to that 10 million free AI credits. So go try it out before they all run out. As always, I do wanna say a big thank you to all of you for your continuous support. And I do look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye-bye.